Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Wednesday, getting over that hump, and it's July 26, 2023. Number one, a major crisis may have been averted Tuesday morning with the announcement of an agreement between the United Parcel Service, or UPS, one of the world's largest shipping and receiving couriers, and the Teamsters Union. If agreed upon, a five-year labor agreement will avoid a major strike and a major hit to the U.S. supply chain. The agreement awaits a vote and ratification by its over 300,000 union members. Number two, the Congressional Black Caucus is launching the Rolling Sea Action Fund, a super PAC aimed at mobilizing black voters ahead of the 2024 elections with the goal of giving the House a Democratic majority and electing the nation's first black speaker of the House. The fund will raise money, invest in advertising and campaigns for the upcoming election cycle. Democrats currently hold 212 seats in the U.S. Congress and need to flip at least five seats to become the majority party in 2024. Number three, Bronny James, the 18-year-old son of NBA superstar LeBron James, was rushed to a hospital after suffering from a cardiac arrest while at a University of Southern California basketball workout Monday morning. A close source with information said Bronny was rushed to the hospital by ambulance after calling 911 on a Code 3 emergency, which means it's significantly serious by using ambulance, lights, and sirens. The 18-year-old recently committed to USC, and LeBron has expressed that he wants to play in the NBA with his oldest son. Number four, a cisgender woman was stabbed to death because her alleged killer believed that she was transgender. 67-year-old Tommy W. Earl was charged with the murder of 59-year-old Michelle Diane Peacock in Richmond, Indiana, July 3rd. Earl is being held at the Wayne County Jail and has been charged with a level one felony murder, a level six felony of intimidation, and a class A misdemeanor of resisting law enforcement. Number five, Imani Roberson has been missing from Rockdale County, Georgia since July 16th. The 30-year-old mother of four owns a white compact SUV that was last seen on Plantation Road in Conyers, Georgia. The tag on the SUV is Georgia Plate CRA7038. Anyone with information on Imani's disappearance, please go to the Black and Missing Foundation website. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Worry will not solve the problem. Asking for help is a sign of strength. Inhale strength. (sighs) Exhale worry. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Man of the World, Stephen Hill, comedian Myra J, and LGBTQ 